Robert Ronguide in our newsroom, and there has been an attempt, Open as perhaps you know team. now, on the life of President Kennedy. He was wounded in an automobile Page driving one. from Dallas Chapter Airport one. into downtown Dallas, Reverse along with Federal. Governor Connolly of Texas. They've been taken to Parkland Hospital there, where their condition is as yet unknown. We have not been told their condition at Dallas in the downtown hotel room. A group that have been gathered to hear President Kennedy was waiting his arrival. Let's switch down there now, where Eddie Barker of KRLD is on the air. As you can imagine, there are many stories that are coming in now as to the actual condition of the president. One is that he is dead. This cannot be confirmed. Another is that uh, Governor Connolly is in the operating room. This will not confirmed. The president was convicted from the scene of the attempted assassination or assassination, depending upon the condition of course in this hour, uh, by bus to Parkland Hospital, and uh, the president uh, undoubtedly is in the emergency room at that hospital, which would be on the first floor of uh, Parkland. No uh, word is yet, we're awaiting something more official, it is of course difficult certainly uh, to go on scanty reports. Uh, this is Walter Cronkite back at the CBS newsroom in New York. We have just been advised from Dallas that blood transfusions are being given to President Kennedy. Let us recall for you now what has transpired in this. Well, that's a repeat of something that you heard reported to you directly a moment ago from KRLD Television in Dallas. That is a rumor that has reached them at the hotel that uh, the president is dead. Totally unconfirmed, apparently, as yet. However, let's go back to KRLD in Dallas. Operating room. We do not know what his condition is, but the report is that the president is dead. This is not confirmed. This is something that word uh, just came to us a minute ago. The word we have is that President Kennedy is dead. This we do not know for a fact. The word we have is that he is dead. That he was shot by an assassin at the intersection of Elm and Houston Street. And just as he was going into the underpass, the word we have is from a doctor on the staff of Parkland Hospital who said that it is true. He was in tears when he told me just a moment ago. This is still not officially confirmed, but as I say, the story would normally be a good one. That was Betty Marker at our affiliate KRLD in Dallas, Texas, speaking from the room where President Kennedy had been scheduled to make an address to three Dallas organizations, but an assassin's bullets cut him down on the way to that meeting from the airport. It was just an hour ago that the incident took place. We have just learned, however, ever that Father Hubert, one of the two priests called into the room has administered the last sacrament of the church to President Kennedy. Regarding the probable assassin, the sheriff's officers have taken a young man into custody at the scene. A man 25 years old, we are with. We just have a report from our correspondent, Dan, rather than Dallas, that he has confirmed that President Kennedy is dead. There is still no official confirmation of this, however, the report from our correspondent, Dan Rather, in Dallas. We are now going into that Dallas uh, lunch the president had planned to address. Let's go back to prayer to get this Dan for underway. In the corridors of the Parkland Hospital, he was uh, said to perhaps have been slightly wounded in the arm. Mrs. Lyndon Johnson says that the Vice President, though, is fine. And throughout the streets of Dallas, the Dallas police have been augmented by some 400 uh, policemen called in on their day off because there were some fears and concerns in Dallas uh, that, uh, that there might be demonstrations at least that could embarrass the president because it was only on October the 24th that our ambassador to the United Nations, Anthony Stevenson, uh, was assaulted in Dallas leaving a dinner meeting there. 
from Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. I'm flying. Vice President Johnson has left the hospital in uh, Dallas, but we do not know uh, to where he has proceeded. Uh, presumably, he will be taking the oath of office shortly and become uh, the 36th President of the United States.